Although the price of nearly all risk assets, including Bitcoin, BTC, and other major crypt assets tumbled on Thursday as Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, some are surprised as BTC performed better than expected and even recovered some of its losses. For now, BTC appears to have found firm support above the 34 US dollars level, having gained more than 5% from its low of just over 34 US dollars 300 earlier in the day. At 1700 hours UTC on Thursday, BTC stood at 36 US dollars 055, down 7% for the past 24 hours and 8% for the week. At the same time, Ethereum, ETH, traded at 2 US dollars, 467, down 9% for the day and 21% for the week. And while crypto assets suffered, commodities such as oil, natural gas and gold all soared higher in price today. As of this writing, Brent oil traded at just over 103 US dollars, moving above the important 100 US dollars level earlier in the day for the first time since 2014 in what marks a significant shift in the price of oil. Meanwhile, natural gas also traded up significantly today, with UK listed natural gas futures rising 11.7% for the day. The rising prices for natural gas came after both Germany and the US stated that approval of the much-discussed Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline from Russia to Germany now has been put on hold. Lastly, the traditional safe haven gold also rose sharply as reports emerged that Russia had launched a full-scale attack on Ukraine. At its peak earlier today, the price of gold touched 1 US dollar, 974, its highest since September 2020. As of press time, however, the gold price had retraced to around 1 US dollar, 922 and was up 0. 0.73% for the day. Definite breakout on gold, technical analyst and founder of trading group The Bird Nest, Crypto Bird, Adrian Stuntzeich, said as the yellow metal surged higher. He followed up by saying that BTC is following stocks, although he noted that several large capitalization stocks are showing more weakness than Bitcoin. Explaining the drop in the price of Bitcoin following the invasion, Anto Barowin, Chief Operating Officer at Digital Asset Investment Fund ARK36. He added that with the close correlation that exists between stocks and Bitcoin, it doesn't come as a surprise that crypto markets are also falling. Further, Perot and warned that the war will not necessarily lead central banks to become less aggressive with their monetary tightening, as a war will inevitably make existing supply chain issues worse, resulting in even higher prices on important commodities. This means that the U.S. Federal Reserve, 